the essential father hypothesis, to my knowledge, was first surfaced by Louis Silverstein and Karl Auerbach in their publication in The American Psychologist in uh, 1999. And uh, I uh, was in communication with Louise and Carl at that time, and I asked them what they learned from the public uproar following the publication, and Louise's comment was, be afraid, be very afraid. Uh, uh, I think you've had your, sh uh, your share of uh, responses as well. So a very important article. My goals in this, I'll, I'll make this discussion as brief as I can, my goals in this discussion are to give my explication of the essential father hypothesis to, provoke, to propose an alternative understanding of fathering that simultaneously avoids the pitfalls of the essential father hypothesis.